All right, guys, I am back for just a little bit. Sorry, I have skipped ahead a little. Um, mostly because my phone died and I was like, well, I really want to get this done. So um, I guess the last things I'm going to show you is um, so far what I've come up with is this is the cover. And I made some little shabby chicy lacy flowers for the cover. Um... And then I decided all of these darker pieces should have pockets. Um, so then I made this little flip up thing here. I'll put tags in a minute on it. And then it's kind of like a little notebook with some of the scrap pieces and enough for a little tag there. <clears throat> but then it's also a little side tuck here. And then I just made basic pockets here to fill with the kit ephemera. Uh, a little side tuck here, and this is kind of a double double pocket, so it goes in here, and then also in this side here. And then, let's see, and I don't know how the lighting's going to turn out, guys. It's like nasty cold snowing here in Colorado. Um, yeah, summer abruptly left, and old man winter totally stepped over Miss Autumn's time. Oh, so anyways, this is also a side tuck here with a little burlap pocket up here and then just some little tags with a little bit of fluff on them up here and then a little dangle here. Okay, and so two pockets here, another side tuck here. And then... Okay, there's nothing on this one yet. That's what I'm working on now. And then a little um, belly band here, which I don't have anything in it yet, but it's also going to be a double belly band. Um, and Grace was back here chit-chatting with me earlier. See, so it's um, there's two right there. Right there. And so she got out one of those old, like, early 90s papal like wheel turn I think it's probably creative memories thing and then she started turning it diagonally and we thought it looked really cool so it got put in here all right so and then I still have to put the pockets here and then this one here um, but I wanted to show you kind of what I do for my shabby chic flowers um, I used to use a whole lot of hot glue and um, burnt fingers but I don't really do that anymore so this is basically what it is in the begin, or you know, after you get it stitched. Um, I've done it both ways: the hot glue and and the um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like hot glue, no, no um, string, like no sew. And then I've done obviously the ones that you sew, and I prefer. The sewn ones, um, in my opinion, when you're hot gluing all of those, um, it gets bulky and it gets hot and I got tired of burning myself. So I'm going to show you really quick how you can make some really cute shabby chic flowers in like no time at all. And then um, you can also layer these. It's pretty easy. Get my knot tied here. Normally I would have this done before we started filming, but honestly I just sat down again and turned on the camera. All right, so I usually do two knots and then this little strip here ought to be enough for one more pocket. Okay, so then I, depending on the lace or ribbon that I'm using, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tie it like this. So see this one's got little holes right here. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it off here and how I do it is I just kind of slip it in through the knot to where it's like really secure, right? I mean, you can pull it. Now I'm going to come up a little bit and go right in here to this um, right here and then I'm just going to take and easily run it through here and one fine day I'd like to have one of those needles that's like you know six inches long that would be cool but it's on my wish list and it I think about it when I go into stores and then I just never remember to get it like by the time I'm always I'm like a squirrel 
Or like like um, when that movie Up, where that dog was like, squirrel. Because, you know, something else pretty and shiny distracts me. So then I just weave it down. Um, I will say, though, I mean, obviously, depending on your project, I don't use the big lace, and I try to stay away from the already, like, gathered laces just because they don't... Um, they don't seem to gather as well, maybe, like once we pull it. And these, another reason why I like doing it this way is you can kind of gauge a little bit. Like obviously you can tell my stitching isn't perfect, but we won't see that once it's done. I'm really hoping that Lisa likes this journal. I mean, like I, I I don't know. It's been a long time since I made anything shabby chic, and I love doing it like that. And I, I actually think, for me, this is a pretty relaxing project. And that's probably enough for this one, um, since we're making them small. So then, since you gathered it, you just pull it like this. And I think, for the most part, this next part is about the only... See, I don't want them... I want them to still kind of lay flat, and that is another reason why I like making these. Um, cause it's pretty, it's pretty flat. Okay. So then I'll snip off here. Now this part is the part that can get kind of tricky. Okay. So you have your end here. You want to take it, kind of fold it up like this and take this, but then you got to pull this tight again. Okay. As tight as you can. And then you want to catch both of those ends. like so because this will be the back of your flower and then I just take it down and you could I mean you could even do a couple other you know stitch it how I just stitched the ruffle this is just what I'm doing for this one so I just tack it in there and then I'll bring it up again here and then I'll just since I'm gonna be using glue I usually only do like one or two of these little knots like this. And I am by no means a perfect hand sewer. I don't really actually like my hand sewing. And I just go back in, pull those up, trim that off. And then when you flip it back out, then you kind of move it around like so. And then by the time you get your middle in, you'll never even know that there's white thread there. I mean, you can use coordinating thread. I just used what was on my desk. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of this um, eyelash trim, or back in the day we used to call it fun fur. So I don't know. It might when you're looking online for it, it might might say fun fur. I'm not sure. Actually, that's too small. All right, so here is what how I do the eyelash trim. First, you get a long enough piece because we can always trim it down. Oh my gosh, that's like the same size. <laughs> um, so you have obviously end to end, right? I kind of tie not a full circle, but I kind of put it in like I'm tying a knot, like so. I bring it almost to a circle. Like, you know what I mean? Like almost to the knot. Maybe. Okay, there we go. And I kind of pull out all that stuff there. And we'll trim that off because that's really long. Okay, so we kind of have a circle here, right? Okay, you can kind of see there's an end, there's an end. Okay, now what I'm going to do is on the back side of my flower... I'm gonna put a little, might be putting a little dot of glue. Okay, a little dot of glue. Oh, this whole bottle has been so stringy, I don't get it. And then, since I have the circle, it's already kind of perfect in there. So then I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna push it in. 
like that. Hold it for a second and then let's see where to put my little pearls. Keep it the same as the cover or put Okay, then I'm gonna put another little dot of glue in here. Move it around. I get one of my big pearls, maybe. <laughs> like so. And then, Clear that off and I'm gonna put it right here. And I do put a, a pretty good dollop of glue there for this part. And then I push it down and I hold it for a little bit. Now you probably could use the binder clips, but I worry that with that pearl on there that it'll slip and slide everywhere. So while we're waiting on that. Kinda the animals here are going absolutely nuts. So Faith, oh, I guess I haven't updated about the kittens. Okay, so we kept Faith, um, but my neighbor's kids, cats, um, um, they died, and so, because they were kind of old, so she was like, do you have any kittens? I was like, as a matter of fact, I have two. Um, so yeah, they, um, Sparky and Hope went to the neighbors. So they're having a good life over there um yep so there's there's that so then I'll wait to glue that into the um, thing there and um this is what it kind of looks like when you do a lace piece and I guess we can probably get this one ready because I'm gonna go ahead and use use this other one because I um, put one back here and it's just putting in a little bit different piece right and so I don't know if you can tell there um, this vintage lace already has kind of some discoloring up in here, so it kind of just lends to the color scheme a little bit if you use a small enough um, sparkly. Okay, so back to the kittens. So we still have Faith, um, but then, I don't know, about probably a month and a half ago, we found another little one out there, and it was the only one, and he was crying, so I don't even know where he came from. Um, it's not the same mama, totally different mama. Um, yeah, I have no idea, like I said, where he came from. It just showed up out of the blue. So of course, you know, we brought him inside <laughs> and um, his name is Meep because he doesn't meow like loudly. It sounds literally like he's saying Meep every time he meows. It's rather cute. So at any rate, um, all the cats are inside but when they all come in, obviously, they go stir crazy. And same with the puppies, because um, they're generally, they prefer to be outdoors because of all their fur, especially the collie. He's, he's got a pretty massive coat on him. Um, so yeah, he's, he's kind of stir, stir crazy, and he's only about 18 months old. So yeah, he's still very much puppy. Um, so yeah, he's laying by the door, and Faith is like, destroying lace over in the corner. Faith. Psst. And she is such a stinker. Everything that embodies a calico, that is her right there. Like she, oh my gosh, she's such a stinker. It looks like I had a little bit of fabric tack on my finger with that. So, and I would suggest if you're going to do anything in grays, definitely make sure little, little glue at a time. Because, boy, I tell you what, there's some glue marks in here that I'm like, I don't really care for, but there's not much I can do to change it. Um, unless I, like, take the whole thing apart. So, all right, let's finish up these little pockets here. Um, I already have them cut to size, and I already have them inked. Um... I may need to grab some more, oh no I don't, um, some of the uh, 
wine colored cheesecloth, but I just found my latest one. And at some point I've got to clean this desk up because boy, <laughs> it's a mess. Massive mess. Um, yeah, so this, I think I've showed this before, but um, you can get this at Hobby Lobby. And when it's on sale, it's like $2.99 for, um, I don't even know now how many yards. Um, let's see what's going on in these. Oh boy, I have such a mess, don't I? Let's set you guys up out of the way so you don't get lost. I tell you, this whole week, I feel like... There we go. That one's going on there. And then I, there's that one. And this piece is actually from one of the envelopes that I showed you the other day in the kit. Let's get these. And I'm thinking that I may end up putting bling on all these little pockets. I don't know. Um, I know Lisa likes, I think, to be able to journal with them. Psh, get out of there. Gracie, will you come get Faith out of the closet? I'm telling you, they're all going stir crazy. She's behind that picture frame right there. I don't think it's Meep. No, it's Faith. Okay, thanks, honey. So, I don't even know where I was at. So, yeah. Um, how funny is that? Losing your concentration, right? I don't know. I Like, I'm not much into music, per se. Um, so, yeah, we just keep singing today about the weather coming in like a wrecking ball. It was so bizarre yesterday, guys. I was headed into town to get Grace from school. She had a choir concert last night. And out of nowhere, seriously, out of nowhere, um, the wind like, like just descended. It was crazy. I've lived in this state for 43 years and not once have I ever seen a storm come in like that, ever. It was the weirdest thing. Like, and all of a sudden there was these huge, like, dust clouds. It, it was weird. It was spooky. And then, like, leaves were just all of a sudden just, like, popping off of trees. And it was, it was weird. We all thought it was pretty weird. Um, so, yeah. And I think, I think this is the first, or the earliest snowstorm we probably had in probably six years. So, yeah, we're not, uh, I don't like winter. Eventually, I think we're moving to Texas or Arizona. Um, probably like three years. I think that's kind of our plan. Um, get Grace through high school and, and then I think we'll, I think we'll venture out. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll just kind of have to see how everything plays out. Um, I'm literally probably the only Coloradoan that's grown up here that's like total like native that really just doesn't care for the cold or the state itself. <laughs> I've always had kind of a gypsy little soul like like I think if Paul and I hadn't had kids when we did, I would probably be like, "Okay, let's let's go. Let's um, you know, move." Um we talked about moving to Nebraska and Wyoming a few times. Um and now that his parents have moved away, I think it'll be easier for him to move away. I don't think he'll be as um, reluctant now to kind of move away. I guess, that, you know what, it's really going to kind of depend on where the kids um, land. If the kids land in Colorado, then he'll probably want to stay here. Um, yeah. He does love his babies, so he will probably want to be close to wherever they are. All right, so let's put this last set of pockets in. And I don't know that it matters much which side we put them on. Um, oh, what I was saying, though, that was one thing. I know Lisa like like really likes to use her journals as journals, not just like pretty um, centerpieces type of thing, you know? Um, 
So yeah, I want to try to keep them obviously as flat as possible. So I was thinking maybe these type of flowers would be soft enough that she would be able to, or feel like she could. Gosh darn it. Do you know how many times I've glued these strings? <laughs> I should. Should have learned already, since this is the third time, to just move them up out of the way, right? Oh boy. All right, and I think this will probably be the last video in this little series because um, I do have um, I mean it's all pretty pretty self-explanatory once I get through it I mean I'll do a flip through and everything but yeah I think I wanted to show you how I made those flowers really quick just in case you hadn't seen something like that before so and I think I think I'm just gonna make kind of some basic ephemera pieces maybe I don't know like I said, I think she doesn't like a ton of bulk, so, hmm, I don't know. We'll have to do some thinking on there, because I was thinking I'd like to do something like file foldery. I mean, I did make, I did make this little notebook here to go in, and there's quite a few tags and envelopes already. So I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. So maybe this won't be the last one. Not really sure. Um, yeah, so that one's pretty well dry now. Um, oh, and I wanted, that's right, I wanted to show you how that other one kind of, kind of goes. All right, so I think this time I'm going to put the flower up here to kind of offset these guys over here. See how it's getting just a little bit full? Okay, so I think I'm going to put the flower up here to kind of offset it a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm going to take my little fun fur here. Um, this time I am going to cut it just a wee bit longer. Again, I'm going to just take it in a almost knot. Like so. I'm going to kind of pull it out just a little bit where that last piece is in there. So it stays in a circle a little bit. Okay, and I just make sure it kind of looks right. Yep. Okay, and this time we'll need to put the glue um, a little bit further out since our circle is just a little bit bigger. Yep. Hold on, gotta make sure. Yep, that's the back side. Alright, so there's that, and then I was using I you know, honestly, I mean yes, I have a lot of desk ephemera going on here, but I I typically am not a person who likes a ton of mess around me because I like to be able to just like grab and go. And so honestly, this desk ephemera thing, I don't it's not gonna last long because I don't think I can do it. Um, I like just having the supplies I'm using out at a time and right now there's there's all kinds of Christmas and all kinds of everything going on everywhere and it's kind of messing messing with me just a bit okay so that should set pretty fast it does set faster on laces than it does the fun for but that's all right so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna pop this little guy up here hold it down for a second oh look we got a long one there all right y'all can't laugh at my ambidextrous um, attempt here. I've never actually tried to cut paper with my left hand. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? There we go. Alright. That 
that's not going to work if you glue yourself to it, huh? All right, there we go. And I don't think I have any more binder clips back over here. Of all the things not on the desk, right? Hmm. Oh, well. We'll just sit here and hold it. Wait for the paint to dry. All right, guys. So this is how this little guy is going to look here. So I think, like I said, I think the next one will just be the flip through since we've kind of seen now what it's looking like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add flowers to these two pockets here. And then I'm going to, I think, well, maybe not this one. I don't know. I haven't decided about that one yet. Okay. So, yep. So like I said, it's almost done. So then it's just filling it with um, the tags and ephemera. And then I think I'm going to call it good. Because, I, like I said, I, th I don't think she likes a ton of decoration. So, yeah. All right, there we go. We'll talk to you soon, guys.